In this video, I'm going to show you an action within Power Auto Edit called as a static result. Now, as you see over here, this icon, this says this action has static result configured. Now, what does it mean? Okay. Now, this is a simple flow authored in the Power Automate canvas. Uh, what it does is like on a manual triggering of flow, it sends out an email. Okay. Let me uh, send, see what is that in the email. I'll say in this email, I'll say email number one. Okay. And one. And here again, that same email but uh, I'll just say email two, okay? Now, these are a couple of emails which will be sent from this particular Power Automate. Now, uh, for time being, let me make it a simple flow. I'll not put the static result over here and I'll just say disable it and say done, okay? Now, this is a simple authoring flow. I'll just save this and I'll send out this email. I'll just test this out, okay? So, I'll just say manually and then I'll test it. Now, technically, if the flow runs fine, it should send out two email, okay, in my mailbox. So let's see whether the mail reaches my mailbox or not. I have received an email, so it says one and two. So two actions are initiated and then two emails are sent, okay? Now, now we need to uh, see what the static action does, okay? Now, again, I'll edit this flow and mark one of the email as a static result. Uh, once I do that, I'll just have to do that enable static result, okay? I'll put an enable static result and I'll not make any changes over here. I'll click on done and I'll see what happens now. I'll just save this and test the flow. Now you see this icon appearing on your uh, action. Uh, so it says this static action is enabled on this particular action. I'll just test this. Once I test this, if everything works fine, I should receive an email. So technically, I should receive two emails. Okay, but as you see over here, I've just received one email. So what does that indicate is technically by enabling the static result, you have managed to block this action. Okay, so this particular action is skipped. Okay, this action is blocked. This action does not get executed. Okay and it moves to another action. Now, this brings important uh, concept within Power Automate. Like if uh, you have a flow which is very long and you are troubleshooting a flow, or maybe if you're authoring a flow, and if you have completed maybe say 20 steps, and if you don't want to continue with that 20 steps to be executed and you just want the result for the previous action, then you can use static result. So static result is basically skipping out. Uh, some important action, some repetitive action, uh, which now what, what is the benefit of removing it is like you, you can troubleshoot your flow quicker, you can save money on the flow execution. So if it is on a, uh, say, quota basis, then definitely you will save money on the runs. Okay. And also it will, uh, uh, it will just help you focus on your particular action. Okay. Now, uh, if I edit this again, let, let's first see what, what, what is there in this uh, enable static result, okay? So in the static result, we have seen there is something called a status output status code headers, okay? Now, for us, it was a simple email, so this all thing didn't make sense, okay? But if it had been an HTTP request, then if we want to pass out some information from this action to another action, we can easily pass out the status code, which is succeeded or failed. Status code as say maybe okay or, or redirect or URL too wrong. So it's a huge list, okay? You can just, if you want to demonstrate say 404, okay? From the previous action, then you can also do that, you know? And there is a whole bunch of status code, you know? Uh, you can pick and then you can also add a unique property header okay you can uh, add those header over here you can add a new item uh, you can add whatever things is required so these are the bare minimum required for passing on the http request so if you want this particular action to receive an http request and this you can curate your own particular http request okay so those all things you can add a header you can add a status code and and you can troubleshoot it. Now here you can uh, also get it in a JSON mode. So if you're a fan of JSON, then if you click over here, you can 
author this content in a JSON mode. If you have this uh, uh, JSON uh, copied from some say blog or some website, then you can copy it over here and then it will present you in a tabular format. Uh, also, if you see here, uh, we are just passing on the output. We can make this particular action as an error as well. Okay, if you want to simulate an error, then you can do this by selecting over here as well. So it will essentially air out and then you need to technically get those uh, error captured within your power automate. So there are a couple of actions happening over here. Uh, and also remember one thing, if you disable the static result and then you go ahead with the flow and then maybe you enable the static result, all this value will persist, okay? So make sure that you are okay with the value which was persisted before, before even moving further in proceeding with authoring your uh, Power Automate flow, okay? Uh, and if you, uh, let me go into the flow run. So this is the flow run which was succeeded. Uh, and this had this uh, this action was executed using static result and if you click on this then you will see that nothing was passed okay but if you would have uh, made the status code as something else and you put some header then you will see the raw output and then you can uh, copy this in a json format uh, and then make it uh, use for say either troubleshooting in postman or any other tools to troubleshoot the actions so so basically that's it for this is all about you know uh, static results so static result is not only commenting your code but then you know like doing something more uh, it's, it's as good as commenting this action as good as simulating some actions from this action like if you want to simulate a failure if you want to simulate a uh, passing of header if you want to simulate some actions which is uh, we can't easily simulate by uh, doing some activity then definitely this is a better catch so there's a lot more happening in static result watch out for this page this is still under preview but uh, i hope uh, they make it ga uh, soon uh, and then you can use it in your live projects as well for troubleshooting thanks for watching